It's springtime in the River City, and we're counting down to the Kentucky Derby. In the coming days, we'll spotlight some of our clients and how they can elevate your Derby event. Today, we're spotlighting Farm to Fork Catering in the Portland neighborhood. Hello, everyone. I am Ann Chato, a business coach with the Louisville Small Business Development Center, and I'm here with Sherry Hurley of Farm to Fork Catering and Cafe. Hi, Sherry. How's it going? It's going great. Happy Derby season. Thank you. I know this is a busy time for you. Um, give us a quick kind of overview of what your specialties are and how people can find you right now. Okay. So uh, as the name might, um, you know, lead to, um, our focus is on using local ingredients. We try to source as many directly from farmers as possible because that means the money goes right in their pocket. Um, I'm a lifelong Kentuckian and um, I want to protect the land and I want to support the farmers and it makes our job as um, cooks and caterers a lot easier because the ingredients are so amazing we don't have to do a lot of things to them. So um, that's our main focus. Um, we have downsized a little bit since COVID and we have really been enjoying doing um, smaller more intimate events. I mean 100 people or less that may not sound smaller intimate <laughs> to some people but um, we've been doing um, a lot of birthday parties and bachelorette parties. Um, people are doing bourbon tours again. So they really like Kentucky focused cuisine and supporting local for that. So um, yeah, things are starting to pick back up in the regular and then Derby, of course, was I mean, as soon as it was on, it was booked. Yeah. yeah. So how do people find your menus and kind of place inquiries and stuff with you? How do they get to you? Our website is probably the best place um, to find everything and to contact us. Um, we've got some beautiful pictures of our food, some sample menus. Um, we're getting ready to launch a new website, actually, that will have online ordering. Um, you'll be able to pre-order for picking up at the farmer's market. We'll be at the St. Matthew's Farmer's Market. Our website is farm to fork Food. Dot com that's all spelled out farm to fork food t o not to not to t o um, and we have contact forms on there um, if you are interested in a wedding or interested in some other type of event you fill out the appropriate form and I've got a nifty little app on my phone that tells me when you've made an inquiry and we usually are able to get back to people in about twenty four hours okay and tell us a little bit about the farmers market that that you guys are doing this year what's your what, what will you offer there and then when will you be there gotcha so um before I started full on catering, the first thing I did was um, farmer's market. So it is like my original love. Um, it's probably not necessarily the most profitable piece of our business, but it is the thing that I love the most. I love being able to hand people food that we've just made a few hours before and have them take a bite and, um, you know, and see the expression on their face, which hopefully is positive um, and generally is. But um, we will be at the St. Matthew's Farmer's Market. That's at Beargrass Christian Church uh, on Shelbyville Road. They will open the Saturday after Derby. Their hours are 8 to 12. We will not be there the Saturday after Derby um, because we'll be recovering and probably catering another job. But we will post online um, and on social media um, what days we're going to be there as soon as they confirm. We're going to be um, like a guest alternate. So it may fluctuate um, and we won't necessarily be in the same space, which is a little challenging, but we do always post once we get there and set up where, where like who we're between and, and all of that. And what we um, take to the farmer's market, um, you can pre-order whole quiche like this delicious beauty. Um, we're probably known best for our uh, biscuits. We do a classic buttermilk biscuit with Weisenberger Mill flour, which is a locally milled flour flour in Midway, Kentucky. Um, yeah, you're like, well, um, yeah. Oh, the biscuits. Um, yeah, you can bring, someone can hand me the biscuits. We can show the biscuits as well. Um, and then we use a local um, whole buttermilk product um, from JD's Country Farm. I swear it is. Look at this. Look at this. Yes. Um, I really feel like it's the not so secret ingredient in our biscuits. It's just, you can smell and taste the buttermilk. We do a pimento cheese biscuit. So it has the cheese and pimentos and some chives baked in. And then we do a bacon brown sugar biscuit um, that has bourbon barrel smoked brown sugar and um, kind of like maple bacon cut up in the dough. We also do a lot of our dips and spreads, which people have had at catered events, but we haven't really had a chance to get them to them any other way. So we take our green goddess dip and our black eyed pea hummus and our Benedictine and our pimento cheese. And, and then we take assorted baked goods. Okay. Yeah. All kinds of good stuff. 
so much good stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to put in a plug also for your newsletter because I've been getting that for several years mm-hmm. and it's, it doesn't come out like every week or every month, but it's like when it comes, uh, your words are from your heart and there's good recipes and good stories in there. So I think you should pay attention to that too. Cause it's, yes. yeah, I think there's probably a pop up on the, when you go to the website to sign up for the newsletter. And that is also a really good way to find out anytime we have special meals that you can order in advance. Um, it'll have the farmer's market dates on there. Also what we might be featuring. Um, and we also like to talk about other like community partners that we want to support that are doing good work. And I know you're booked fully for Derby, but in general, how far in advance should people call you for Derby or for other events, you know, in in the coming months? Well, Derby's a tricky one because we have um, a standing annual party that we do on Derby Day, and it is about twice as many people as we normally would do. Um, And so it really precludes us from doing much else. Um, But that's this year, and, you know, we're just starting to grow the staff back. But I would say, I mean, really six months in advance, if you know that you've got people coming, um, yeah, at least six months in advance. And then for other events, just because so many people are trying to schedule things and there's limited amount of caterers, um, really like three to four weeks, even for like a small event, if not, if not more. I mean, if you know the date, just contact the sure. caterer. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Amen to that. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, I know you've worked with several of us at the SBDC over the years. So yes. tell us what your experience has been. Um, I would not be here now if it was not for uh, that man behind the camera, <laughs> Dave Etkin. Um, you have helped me tremendously. Um, I think the first person I ever met with was Tony. And I think has she moved on to an, something else? Back and this was a very part okay. Of the yeah. She met with me to do my first kind of like financial projections okay. and stuff. And then I also met with Valerie. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. like, yeah, I've, over there, so you just yeah, 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 okay, well, I'll um, <laughs> tell me what your specialty is, and I'm sure I can use help with it, um, but no, I mean, I've learned so much. Um, the templates um, and worksheets, those kind of things are invaluable, um, but getting that, I mean, if, if you just download that and you haven't ever filled it out before, not real helpful, so, I mean, Dave literally, like, came and sat with me, like, once a week for several weeks, like, <laughs> helping me, like, set up a 13-week cash flow plan. And, and yeah, it saved our life. Yeah, excellent. Well, yeah, it's been it's been a real joy to get to work with you. So we have a little thank you for letting us in the door today, particularly things. given um, you know how busy you are right now. So just some kabuki oh, cupcakes yes. from oh, Ronda, one of Rhonda's clients. So complete with sparkles and an edible SPDC sticker. So it's fancy. There you go. I love yeah. it. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, happy Derby, and happy thanks Derby. for thanks for finding time for us today. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for your support.